Thank you. Day one of the City of Flint's ambulance service launch is almost complete. This is in response to a countywide shortage of ambulances, causing the city to operate in crisis mode. The goal is to reduce response times across the city, ultimately saving lives. Our Tiffany Maddox joining us now with details on day one. Tiffany. Yes, Fire Chief Theron Wiggins told me today they responded to close to 10 calls, which they say were pretty routine, but he says they are prepared for anything and expect to respond to about 20 calls daily. For 20 years, when Flint residents called for help, they were at the mercy of private ambulance services. And we felt the cries of our public. We felt the need of our public. The public was not being serviced. But as of Tuesday, Flint ambulance trucks are officially on the road. Our ambulance service for the city of Flint has been restored after 20 years, performing life-saving measures for residents all throughout the city. Three new ambulance vehicles were purchased by the city with ARPA dollars in opioid settlement funds. And it's all with the goal of reducing emergency response times for Flint residents. A lot of people in our areas, in the blight areas, were going without ambulance services. And uh, I just could not stand for that. The new service will operate exclusively in Flint. But when other areas in the county are in need during an emergency, Flint is prepared to respond. The closest ambulance available will always be dispatched by Genesee County 911. Fire Chief Theron Wiggins says his staff are ready and qualified to operate the ambulance and help save residents' lives. We are state certified by the state of Michigan, and we are also certified by the Genesee County Med Control, who uh, runs the ambulance services for the county. And the city-run ambulance service is also expected to be especially impactful for emergency responses to frequent overdoses in the city of Flint. Now, Flint firefighters can get to those people with Narcan much quicker and get them to a hospital. For ABC 12 News, I'm Tiffany Maddox.